afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Live at 4 on this Tuesday. A little cooler today, but still not bad. Not bad. Yeah, nice yeah. outside. Com the way it could be. Yeah, compared exactly. To what, what it be this be time thankful. Of year. We'll get to the weather in just a minute, but first, here's what's making news on this Tuesday. If the state Republicans get their way, there will be some major changes in the way you vote. Will Keneally will explain. It's election day, and the top issue on the ballot in many states is abortion rights. I'm Michael George with a breakdown of the most watched races. And on campus, frustration about the lack of movement on pay raises. Let's take a look outside. Nice day out for, is he fishing? Yeah. Well, there you go. Fishing and just enjoying the lake. Keep your umbrella handy, though, because some rain's on the way. Jacob's in the backyard patio with the latest on that. Hi, Jacob. Hi, right, Mark. The rain is going to move in later tonight and possibly impact our area throughout the day tomorrow. But first, let's take a look at the current conditions. Seeing plenty of cloud cover right now. Temperature at 48 degrees. That's been pretty consistent over the last several hours. Not a lot of movement with uh, temperatures consistently in the upper 40s, with some areas in the lower 50s. Across Dane County, there are a few spots around 50 degrees, and there are some areas in the middle 50s, specifically down south. Uh, Janesville got up to around 54, 55 degrees today, but much of the area Area, upper 40s, lower 50s. That has been the case throughout much of the day, but certainly colder than yesterday, especially near Lake Michigan, where temperatures are over 20 degrees colder than this time yesterday. Much of our region somewhere in the teens, but the good news with today is that it's not as windy as it was yesterday. So here's a look at future cast. Going to continue to see cloud cover throughout the evening, but the rain will move in later tonight, likely well after sunset, and it'll impact our area throughout the night into tomorrow morning. Now there could be a thunderstorm or or two, but the heaviest rain will be during the overnight hours before sunrise. Now we're still expect to see some rain during the morning and afternoon tomorrow, but it's going to be very light during the day. So to plan out your evening, we'll see temperatures in the 40s with plenty of cloud cover. Rain won't move in until around midnight. I'll have more details in the forecast for the rest of the week coming up a little bit later. All right, we'll check back. Thank All you. right, thank you, Jacob. Today is election day in several states across the country, and in Wisconsin's capital this morning, the state's Senate approved a slate of constitutional amendments that could significantly change how Wisconsinites cast their ballots in the future. Their actions today will ultimately put that power in your hands, as political reporter Will Keneally explains. Will? Well, Mark and Susan, we don't really have ballot measures here in Wisconsin like you might see in California. The only way that voters can directly weigh in is through these constitutional amendments. And the Republican-controlled legislature wants to put a series of election changes to the voters for a constitutional amendment ballot vote. Now, those changes would do things like require photo IDs for voting and prevent cities from receiving private grant funds like we saw across the state in 2020. Now, those grants help those cities conduct the elections during the pandemic, but Republicans argue that that benefits Democratic-leaning cities. But let's be honest here. Private donations would never have been needed in the first place if the legislature did its job. Promoting turnout in targeted regions can change the results across the state. Government entities cannot be participants if we want to prevent corruption, live in a society of laws, and promote confidence in the election process. Now that amendment to prevent those outside dollars could wind up on the ballot as early as this April. So why go this route? The, to amend the state constitution, the legislature does not need to go through the governor. So the state's Democratic governor would not get the opportunity to veto this. And also, why possibly next April? That will coincide with the Republican primary vote, and we could see higher GOP turnout. Reporting from the Capitol, Will Keneally, News 3 Now. Will, thank you. Also at the Capitol, lawmakers shared more insight as they continue to try to remove the state's top elections official. Republicans took the first step last week to try to impeach the nonpartisan leader of the state's election agency, Megan Wolf. That came after a series of ads targeted the state's assembly speaker, threatening him with a recall if he did not move forward on impeachment. Today, however, he told reporters they will not move quickly to oust her. We are nowhere near a consensus, um, but you know, I can't predict what's going to happen in the future, but I think it is unlikely that it's going to come up anytime soon. 
Voss has been under pressure from some of the most conservative members of his party to impeach Wolf. The Milwaukee Journal Sentinel reports today that includes former President Donald Trump. In 2021, Voss hired a former Supreme Court justice to investigate the 2020 election after similar pressure from former President Trump. This first Tuesday of November is election day in many parts of the country. No elections today, though, in Wisconsin. And in some of those states, interest is high, especially where voters are weighing in on abortion rights. Michael George looks at some of the key races. Voters flock to the polls in Ohio with the future of abortion rights in the state on the line. I'm of an age that I know what happens if you can't do this legally. So. Uh, you know, it's, it was a, like a no-brainer for me. Ohio voters are considering an amendment to the state constitution that, if approved, would guarantee women have the right to an abortion. But opponents say the measure, known as Issue 1, goes too far. So it's incredibly dangerous and concerning that this would be within our constitution and there's nothing we could do about it. In Kentucky, the Republican challenger in the race for governor cast his ballot Tuesday morning. State Attorney General Daniel Cameron is locked in a tight race with incumbent Democrat Andy Bashir. I think both men are really sincere in what they do and how they try and help the Commonwealth, you know. But for some reason, I just leaned towards, towards Daniel. I keep thinking about Governor Bashir and how he was with us through the pandemic every day, giving his broadcasts, and I just think he has a heart of gold. How are you, sir? In Virginia, Republican Governor Glenn Youngkin met with voters Tuesday morning. The balance of power in the state legislature is on the line, with all 140 General Assembly seats up for grabs. And we're the party that's really trying to forge a better day in Virginia. And what the other side stands for, honestly, is simple, simply chaos. Virginia Democrats say giving Republicans full control of the state house will lead to rollbacks of voting rights. Michael George, CBS News. A Madison man was the victim of an armed robbery while walking through Warner Park last night. Police say the victim was walking alone around 9.30 when two people walked up to him and threatened him with a knife. The suspects took the victim's wallet, tossed him to the ground, and ran away. So far, no arrests have been made. The victim has non-life-threatening injuries. Last week, Governor Evers sued the legislature, arguing that it is blocking basic government functions, including signing off on pay raises for UW-Madison employees. Our Jalen Banks joins us now from downtown Madison with what some UW employees are saying about the fight. Jalen. Talking with people who work for the university, I would say the general sentiment on the situation is frustration. The University of Wisconsin serves as the largest employer in the state with more than 35,000 employees. This ranges from professors, maintenance workers, to even food service workers. And one UW employee that I spoke to today says his heart is with his fellow colleagues who depend on the wage increases. The cost of living this last year, it's like everybody I knew almost moved because their rent was going up by several hundred dollars per month, mine included. And it's, I can't imagine trying to eke it out in Madison if you're not making a livable wage. And especially that livable wage is not being allowed through because of political processes. The wage increases would be 6% over two years, and tonight at 5, we'll hear from UW President Jay Rothman on his thoughts on the situation. All right, Jalen, we'll see you at 5. Thank you. One month after Hamas carried out its terror attacks in Israel, plunging the region into a bloody conflict, Israel's prime minister says Gaza City is encircled with Israeli soldiers operating inside it. Israeli Defense Forces released video today showing the destruction of a tunnel in Gaza, which they say was a Hamas structure. Israel's defense minister says for the first time in decades, Israeli forces are in the heart of Gaza City as they try to dismantle the terror organization responsible for the attacks on Israeli communities a month ago today. As the fighting intensifies, many Palestinian civilians remaining in Gaza City fled. Some expressed support for Hamas as they evacuated. Even I'm not Hamas, but all the Palestinian people together with Hamas, and Hamas is the beast. Hamas said the death toll in Gaza is now more than 10,000, including thousands of children. 
The U.S. Supreme Court heard arguments today in a high-stakes case that pits gun rights against a federal law that seeks to protect victims of domestic violence. This is the first major gun case to come up since the Supreme Court issued a new standard on judging the constitutionality of gun regulations. Protesters outside the court called to keep guns out of the hands of domestic abusers. Inside, lawyers for 23-year-old Zachary Rahimi are challenging Challenging the constitutionality of a 1994 law that led to his indictment for possessing a firearm while having a restraining order against him. He was arrested after shooting his gun in public five different times. You don't have any doubt that your client's a dangerous person, do you? Your Honor, I would want to know what dangerous person means. At well, the I moment, mean, someone who's shooting, uh, uh, you know, at people, uh, that's a good start. The Biden administration argues that last year's Supreme Court decision in the U.S. versus Bruin case has muddied the waters. That ruling said history and tradition should determine whether laws regulating firearms are constitutional. Legal analysts say a majority of justices appear poised to uphold the law to protect victims of domestic violence. Well, here's a traffic alert that's going to cause big headaches and delays for drivers in downtown starting Monday. One lane of of John Nolan Drive under the Monona Terrace in each direction will be closed. Crews will be doing work including replacing stormwater piping and repairing the concrete of the parking structure. The work is expected to last until December 22nd. Well, Kemp's, the milk producing company based in Cedarburg, made a big donation to food pantries across the Midwest, including those in Dane County today. Food pantries are often challenged finding enough refrigeration room for products like milk. Kemp says it hopes to help some of these issues by donating 800,000 shelf-stable giving cow milks, including 30,000 chocolate milk packs being delivered to Second Harvest Food Bank in southern Wisconsin. The giving cow milk cartons don't require refrigeration. Each one is ultra-high temperature pasteurized, so it will last up to 12 months, which typically fresh milk only lasts about 20 days. So it's able to be left on shelf, not refrigerated, and this is our way of giving back to the community and really nourishing the families that really drive the heart of our, our state and our country. Kemp's with partners Pick and Save and Metro Market donated six pallets of the shelf-stable milk to the Second Harvest Food Pantry. Well, good for them. Yeah. You know, you go to Europe, you always, the milk is just on a shelf. That's true. That's a good point. So yeah, don't be afraid of it. Don't be afraid. <laughs> well, there's a family in North Dakota who will always have October 23rd circled on the calendar. We'll find out why when Live at Four continues. <laughs> Christmas is almost here, so hurry into Menards and check out our great selection of holiday decor. Plus, get 11% off everything. Visit Menards Enchanted Forest and stock up on everything to decorate your home. We carry artificial trees, Christmas lights, ornaments, yard decorations, and more. Get these premium LED holiday lights for only $10.99 after 11% rebate. Trust Menards for all your holiday needs. Plus, get 11% off. Season's greetings to you all from Menards. When dry eye symptoms keep coming back, inflammation might be to blame. Over-the-counter eye drops can provide temporary relief. Zydra can provide lasting relief. It targets inflammation that can cause dry Zydra, eye disease. No! Zydra treats the signs and symptoms of dry eye disease. Don't use if allergic to Zydra. Common side effects include eye irritation, discomfort or blurred vision when applied, and unusual taste sensation. Why wait? Ask your doctor about a 90-day prescription and pay as little as zero dollars. <gasps> Zydra. Oh. Memories matter. I think the biggest thing I got out of my service in Vietnam was a real sense of patriotism. I'm very proud of what I did. I fought for you, and I'd fight for you again. This Veterans Day, we remember, and we never forget those who sacrificed everything for our freedoms. We are Crest Funeral and Cremation Service, and we know that your memories matter. 
At Informed Choice Insurance Agency, we're proud of our five-star reviews. My agent, Matthew, explained everything about Medicare and the needed supplemental insurance. He took the time to show me several different plans and the plus and minuses of each policy. Andrea was amazing. From her knowledge to her presentation to her skills in navigating complicated and intimidating waters, I cannot emphasize enough how much she helped me and my family. Need help with your Medicare or Marketplace health plans? Get five-star service at Informed Choice Insurance Agency. Imagine a world with no drama. I haven't signed Jody's card yet. At 4imprint, finding the promotional products you need to create a memorable moment is an easy mission. Our expert team will take care of every detail to make your success a certainty. Take the drama out of ordering promotional products at 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at High V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the High V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just a price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the High V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for High V Perks. It's free and easy. Watching News 3 Now, live at 4. Welcome back. After the gut-wrenching loss to Indiana last weekend, the Badgers are hoping to snap their two-game skid. Up next is a date with Northwestern this Saturday. Kickoff is at 2.30 at Camp Randall. Bucky has won the last two matchups against the Wildcats by a pretty large margin. We went inside the huddle in our weekly taping last night with Badger center Tan uh, Tanner Bordellini, who emphasized putting last week's loss behind them and setting their sights on what's ahead. Obviously, Saturday doesn't go the way any of us wanted to go. And uh, I think the biggest thing for everyone was, all right, let's turn the page, let's get back to work, and let's do what we can today to put ourselves in a position to win on Saturday. The Wisconsin Huddle, by the way, airs every Friday, immediately following News 3 Now at 6. And if you'd like to be part of the Wisconsin Huddle, just stop by the Monona Buck and Honey's location Monday nights at 6. A new report shows U.S. consumers continue to rack up credit card debt. The Federal Reserve Bank of New York says credit card balances hit a new record once again, surpassing $1 trillion. That's a 40% increase from the beginning of 2021. Prior research showed Americans went on a spending spree this summer, buying everything from trips to concert tickets. So we're talking about record levels of credit card debt, record high interest rates as well. The average credit card charges 20.72%. So I think it's all related. We're talking about higher balances, higher interest rates. Inflation is really contributing to this as well. Experts say credit card debt will likely go even higher now that the holiday shopping season is underway. Stocks extend their winning streak. The Dow Industrials added 56 points. The NASDAQ gained 121, or almost 1%, and the S&P 500 was up 12. A family in North Dakota is really happy their little bundle of joy decided to come a week early. October 23rd is a day this family will celebrate for generations. Jody Kurzman has the story. Just perfect. Tegan Jean Weber is full of surprises. She was seven pounds, three ounces when she was born. Surprise number one, her mom was pretty confident Tegan was a boy. I was so sure she was a boy. We were positive. Surprise number two, Miss Tegan decided to make her grand entrance on a pretty special day. She shares a birthday with me and um, my mom. Tegan was born on October 23rd, just like her mom and her mom's mom. I was very surprised, yes, blessed, very blessed. I thought it was a possibility, but never in a million years. I thought that would be really cool if she would be born on my birthday and my daughter Valerie's birthday. And God blessed us. Wanda and Valerie right. have always celebrated their birthday really together. Are. That was in 2017. With Kate and family. I think she was about seven years old. Photos of their special day 
date back 34 years. Honestly, they're all my favorite. Now the party has grown. Three generations of birthday girls. Person can't ask for anything better. Now share <laughs> this same special day. It's very special. But no matter how many birthdays they celebrate, Valerie says this birthday might just be her best ever. It's going to be hard to top this one. Some other family similarities, Wanda, Valerie, and Tegan were all born in the evening, <laughs> and both Tegan and Valerie have three older siblings. I love that story. I was due on my mom's birthday. Really? January 4th, but I hung out four more days. Yeah. Well, my husband and his sister were born on the same day, and their older brother was born the day after. Really? We have to do a story <laughs> about them, too. <laughs> Well, it's November, home to Black Friday. But there are deals to be had all month long. Consumer Reports has November's best buys coming up after Jacob's first worn forecast. Flex Steel is furniture that comforts, furniture for living, furniture with a heart of steel. Save big during our Flex Steel authorized Black Friday sale. Going on now at Wanaki Furniture ETC. What can our foam do for your home? You'll be warm and comfortable inside, even when it's freezing outside. Your furnace will run less, keeping your heating bills lower. You'll have consistent temperatures throughout the whole house, and those annoying outside noises won't be nearly as loud. Upgrading your insulation upgrades your life. Winterproof now and get 0% financing for 72 months. USA Insulation. For 46 years straight, more of you have trusted Ford F-Series trucks to help save the day. Stretch the weekend, haul, or tow just about anything, anywhere. That's because they're built Ford tough. And it's why Ford F-Series are America's best-selling trucks 46 years straight. And for that, we thank you. Now lease a built Ford Tough F-150 STX for $3.99 a month for 36 months. Only at your local Ford dealer. Over the years, the attorneys at Habish, Habish & Rotier have handled numerous cases involving the design and relative safety of child car seats. Because of this litigation, manufacturers have been forced to make these seats safer. We helped change the industry, and our most precious cargo can now travel more safely. The skill expended to achieve this result is the opposite of one phone call and a quick settlement. Habish, Habish & Rotier. National reputation, hometown service. Pick and Save gives you so many ways to save. On top of our lower than low prices. Enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons. Earn fuel points to save up to $1 per gallon. And with a Boost membership, you'll save even more with double fuel points and free delivery. Plus, our weekly sales will keep your budget merry and bright. So get rewarded and save. Pick and save, fresh for everyone. My dry eyes made me a burning, stinging five times a day. Makeup smearing, drops user. I want another option. That's not another drop. Tirvaya, it's not another drop. It's the first and only nasal spray for dry eye. Tirvaya treats the signs and symptoms of dry eye disease fast by helping your body produce its own real tears. Common side effects include sneezing, cough, and throat and nose irritation. Relying only on drops? Not me. My own real tears are my relief. Ask your eye doctor about Tirvaya. Flex Steel is furniture that comforts, furniture for living, furniture with a heart of steel. Save big during our Flex Steel authorized Black Friday sale. Going on now at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Take a look at this. Oh dear. That's quite a leap. The dough jumped and wow. ended up denting the side of the truck, which was for sale, by the way. No word yet on how the nick affected the truck's resale value, but explaining it to a potential new owner is, um, well, it was dented by a flying deer. That's priceless. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All you need is to show the ring camera. <laughs> that, wow, that, that genuinely shocked me, seeing how far that deer jumped. Yeah, I know. That's amazing. Yeah. It is amazing. <laughs> sign, him up, sign her up. <laughs> All right. That's like the temperatures around here taking a leap. Yeah, they are going to stay relatively consistent. You know, okay. we'll see a little bit of a drop and rise, but nothing as much as what we've seen the last couple days where we kind of got to 60, then we're back down to 50. All the details right after the break.
Stoughton Health has three convenient urgent care locations for the care you need without the wait. We have clinics in Oregon, Stoughton, and McFarland with extended hours to fit your schedule. Stoughton Health, creating excellence together. Salon Pass, makers of powerful pain relief patches for 89 years, believes in continuous improvement, like rounded corners that resist peeling, with an array of active ingredients and sizes to relieve your pain. Salon Pass, it's good medicine. He sent me to and here's your weather for this holiday weekend. Holiday weekend. There's a high pressure system coming from the north. I'm not even shopping yet, though. What am I gonna do? Hey, buddy. <laughs> Make it easy on yourself. <laughs> Holiday scratch games from the Wisconsin Lottery are here with prices ranging from $1 to $20 and top prizes up to $100,000. With so many games to choose from, it's easy to find gifts for everyone at your local lottery retailer. How do you like that? Welcome back to Sam's Hot Takes. What's hot now? Spectrum One Stream. It's internet, unlimited mobile, advanced Wi-Fi, and this Zumo Stream Box free with Spectrum TV. It makes searching for shows and movies across live TV and streaming apps easy. It's streaming simplified. Get internet for $49.99 a month, plus advanced Wi-Fi and your first line of unlimited mobile free for 12 months. Plus add Spectrum TV and get a free Zumo Stream Box for 12 months. Call 833-788-4999. Visit Spectrum.com or stop by a Spectrum store today. Hold it! Imagine a world with no drama. I haven't signed Jody's card yet. Ordering promotional products guaranteed to create memorable moments is an easy mission at 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. Our city has a pulse. Steps from bustling and wild. Come find familiar. Experience new. Health has three convenient urgent care locations for the care you need without the wait. We have clinics in Oregon, Stoughton, and McFarland with extended hours to fit your schedule. Stoughton Health, creating excellence together. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Here are the three things you need to know for the rest of the week. We are going to see the temperatures relatively consistent. Highs will be near 50 to the upper 40s for the rest of the week. We do have the chance of some showers later tonight into tomorrow. I really should say showers are likely tonight, but then after the rain moves out tomorrow, we are looking very quiet for the rest of the week through the weekend and most of next week as well. So it's gonna be pretty quiet after this rain moves through. But tonight we are expected to see that rainfall. Lows will be in the 40s for a lot of our area. Plenty of cloud cover. A few thunderstorms are also possible, but there is no severe weather risk. Going into tomorrow, not expect to see any thunderstorms, but we are gonna to continue to see some scattered showers across our area. Temperatures will be similar to today with highs right around 50, maybe a little bit warmer as we might get into the middle to lower 50s. But uh, for the most part, it'll be pretty similar to today and Thursday temperature wise will be similar as well. We'll see mostly sunny skies. We are going to see some windy conditions as we'll see a west wind at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Gusts could possibly be up to 35, maybe an approaching 40 miles per hour at times. So it's going to be windy on Thursday, although it will be sunny. Now looking at the next 10 days, low temperature or high temperatures will drop for Friday and Saturday as highs will be back in the middle 40s. But looking at next week, we're going to see those temperatures rise back into the 50s, possibly even middle 50s. And this looks to continue for a lot of the week. So we are going to be above average. And as as you can see the normal high is actually now in the 40s. So anytime we get 50s for the next couple of months, that's actually going to be above average compared to uh, what we normally see. Now looking at future cast, here's a look at that rain forecast. Most of the rain will move in well after sunset, probably even possibly after midnight for parts of our area. But during those overnight hours, we are going to see some scattered showers of possibly a few storms. But the good news is that this will also mostly clear out of our area by sunrise, but uh, we could continue to see some 
lingering rain. The heavy rain will be out by sunrise, though, as we'll continue to see some scattered showers throughout the day and afternoon. By the time we get to the late afternoon and evening, a lot of it will be broken up, but still maybe a few light showers. But in general, expect to see some on and off showers throughout the day tomorrow. And as I mentioned, we aren't going to see any rain after uh, Wednesday. It's going to be clear by Thursday morning. So this is a look at the rainfall or the precipitation forecast for the next seven days. But this is really all about what we're going to have tonight and tomorrow. I just want to show the next seven days to show you we're not going to get anything after tomorrow. So heaviest rain will be to the north and east of Madison. But in general, much of our area will see at most probably about a half inch of rainfall. Not expect to see a ton of rainfall. Now here's a look at our weather photo of the day sent in by Tom. This is a showing a very nice photo from Madison. So thank you, Tom, for submitting that weather photo. Now here's a look at the seven day forecast. Very dry conditions after Wednesday as temperatures will fall into the 40s, but then rise back into the 50s for much of next week. Next week, a lot of the days will be in the mid 50s. That's what it's looking like as we will see dry conditions with a chance of rain by the time we get to next Friday. I like in that forecast. It's a week before Thanksgiving, yeah. almost 60 degrees. Wow. Jacob, thank you. The American Cancer Society is out with new expanded screening guidelines for lung cancer. They now include people who smoke, but also adults who have quit smoking up to 15 years ago. Also, the RSV vaccine is now available. Should you get one? Are you eligible, in fact? UW Health's Dr. Jeff Potoff is here with his weekly visit. Good to hey, see Dr. you again. Hey, guys. Let's go back to the, the lung screening yeah. story. So, who... How do you get this if you had smoked and quit? Yeah, so the way the math works is you want to um, be able to demonstrate that you've had a 20-pack year history of smoking. So what that means is, on average, you smoke a pack a day of cigarettes for 20 years. Now, if you're a two-pack a day smoker, well, you only got to do it for 10 years. If you're a half a pack a day smoker, you do it for 40 years. Uh, and then I think the other thing that um, maybe isn't intuitive, folks, is, uh, you know, it's great if you quit smoking, but if you've had that 20-pack year history, there's still risk for lung cancer, so you're still eligible for this screening even if you say quit smoking five years ago or something like that. What does the screening involve? So typically it's a, it's a CT scan, so like an x-ray but multiple x-rays and slices, and what we're trying to identify is do you have a pulmonary nodule early on when it's small that we can then biopsy if it's lung cancer uh, and we can get that out right away, uh, prognosis would be much better. Lung cancer is not a great cancer to have. Uh, it kills a lot of people, about 350 people a day. Uh, oh. So identifying it earlier so that you can get it out before it spreads is really important to ensure better outcomes. Do your lungs clean themselves as you quit smoking? Yeah, so the other effects of smoking, like the soot and like you burn these little hairs in your lungs that kind of get mucus up, like that can all improve. So that's a good thing, uh, but that cancer risk is still there. Uh, those um, toxins have damaged the DNA. Those cells could be replicating uh, irregularly, and you can still get lung cancer years after you quit smoking. And you can still get lung cancer even if you never smoked. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Far, far and away, uh, we see lung cancer predominantly in smokers, uh, but um, we do see it uh, in other individuals too. It's not, you know, slowly related to folks uh, who, who smoke. So if you fit the requirements, talk to your doctor. Absolutely, and see if you can get one of those scans done. Okay. RSV. Yeah. Who's eligible for that? So for this new vaccine for older individuals, it's 65 or older. Uh, it's new, uh, so you want to talk to your doctor about it. Uh, but for the most part, uh, as we've talked about before, RSV affects the very young, the very old. Uh, if you're over the age of 65, you've got a fair number of comorbidities. There's a pretty high likelihood that your doctor is going to recommend that you get this shot. Uh, just like the pneumonia shot, it kind of protects you from getting severe disease uh, from RSV. Uh, and is one less thing you need to worry about as you get into respiratory season, which, you know, is... Is, is now. How dangerous is it for older people and younger people? For RSV? Yeah, RSV, particularly like early, uh, like birth to six months, particularly dangerous. You can find yourself in the hospital. Uh, and then likewise, for those who are age 65, especially if you have some comorbid uh, medical conditions, particularly lung conditions, maybe COPD, something like that, RSV can land you in the hospital. It's nothing really to fool around with. Uh, if you're in your 30s, uh, it's more like a bad cold, but uh, as you get older, it can really take you for a loop. Do you need a prescription or you can just go to the pharmacy and say, Give me an RSV shot. Yeah, for RSV, I think you'd probably be okay going to a pharmacy that had it. Uh, they'd likely give it to you. Uh, certainly, uh, if you have a primary care provider uh, and you need an order based on your insurance carrier or something like that, they'd be happy to provide that. Okay. What is the COVID situation locally right now? Locally, uh, we're higher than we were at our lowest point, which was kind of this summer. Uh, early this fall, we started to increase. Uh, we saw a bit of an increase towards the end of September going into October. That came down a little bit. Now it's back up there a little bit, but kind of leveled off. Uh, at this slightly higher level, certainly not anything close to what we saw during the pandemic, but there's a good chance that you know people who've gotten COVID recently. Uh, and then the other thing is our, our, our ability to detect how much COVID in the community is much less now. We're really looking at hospitalizations, which with as much exposure to COVID as a small number of total cases. So likelihood of there being more cases than what are being reported in the community 
pretty high. Yeah. There are, and there are four international airports that are, you can, they're swabbing international passengers as they arrive back, but it's voluntary. But what does that tell you? Yeah, I think, you know, it's a, it's a good effort, especially as we see COVID uh, doing different things in different parts of the world, uh, trying to identify those folks uh, and prevent that fall surge or that respiratory season surge. Uh, and uh, I think it's a great idea. At the same time, I'm not sure how many people get off a plane and be like, wait a second, <laughs> let me right. get my nose swabbed here quick <laughs> and see if I got, yeah, got COVID. At the end of your European vacation. <laughs> right, right, right. But is it something you think pe this year people are thinking about with holiday and international travel or is it? Yeah, I think certainly not thinking about it nearly as much. And for folks that are really healthy, you've been vaccinated, probably don't have to worry about it so much. But there's a lot of families out there who have folks that are high risk or maybe are immunocompromised. It's probably on their minds. Like, you know, how do we make sure that we don't give grandma COVID for, for Christmas? Because uh, she might not do so well with it. But we're in a way different place than we were. Absolutely, completely different. So That's be careful, but don't. Yeah, don't have to cancel Christmas this year. No canceling Christmas. That's good news. Yeah. <laughs> All right, doctor. Thanks, Dr. Pop. Good stuff. Good to see you. Good talk. done. Up next, the best buys in November from Consumer Reports. And then coming up next hour at 5, Catherine Merck looks at how parents of, of Madison school students are managing the changes the schools have made to their family schedule. That's coming up at 5. SSM Health and News 3 Now would like to invite you and your family to make a colorful connection this giving season. Go to channel3000.com to download a Time for Kids coloring sheet or find it in November's Madison Magazine. Add color and a kind message, then mail it to SSM Health. They'll share it with a hospital patient who can't be home for the holidays. And you might even see it on News 3 Now. Take time for kids and spread joy to others by making a colorful connection. straight more of you have trusted Ford F-Series trucks to help save the day. Stretch the weekend, pull, or tow just about anything, anywhere. That's because they're built Ford tough. And it's why Ford F-Series are America's best-selling trucks 46 years straight. And for that, we thank you. Now lease a built Ford Tough F-150 STX for $3.99 a month for 36 months. Only at your local Ford dealer. with no drama. I haven't signed Jody's card yet. At 4imprint, finding the promotional products you need to create a memorable moment is an easy mission. Our expert team will take care of every detail to make your success a certainty. Take the drama out of ordering promotional products at 4imprint.com. 4imprint, for certain. At Lawton Cates, your life counts is more than just a slogan. It's being prepared for all the challenges you may face after a serious injury. It's confronting every aspect of your case with honesty, integrity, and innovative solutions that have earned us a reputation for excellence in representing the injured. It's no wonder so many clients refer their own friends and family to our team of dedicated professionals year after year. Your life counts. Lawton Cates. Call today for a free consultation. Coming up tonight at 5, the state senate approved constitutional amendments that would give you the power to decide how elections are run here in Wisconsin. We'll give you all the details from the state capitol. Scattered showers will move in tonight and continue through tomorrow before ending tomorrow evening. A long period of mainly dry weather will follow with cool weather later this week and a warm up for next week. At 5, I'll let you know how much rain to expect. And ahead at 6, the busing problems don't stop for Madison schools. Catherine Merck looks at how parents are managing the changes the schools have made to their family schedule tonight at 6. Giving the weather satellite a spin, we end up in San Francisco, the Golden Gate Bridge. That's a gorgeous shot. A little chilly in San Fran today. 62? 62 degrees. Boy. There's always a nice breeze. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is pretty normal this time of year, I yeah. think, out there. I'm told. Anyway, with Veterans, with Veterans Day, Black Friday, and Cyber Monday all here this month, November is the prime time for deals and holiday shopping. 
But Consumer Reports explains why you may not even have to wait for those big shopping events this month. Retailers have made sales more available all month long. Our Shane Hogan has the details. From TVs to headphones to kitchen gadgets, November is the perfect month to snag incredible deals on holiday gifts for the ones you love. Here are top products to look out for in this month's Best Time to Buy. Retailers have begun starting their holiday sales a lot earlier in recent years. And this year, we're expecting the prices you see right now to remain consistent all the way through Black Friday. This means you can start shopping and saving now without worrying about missing out on those blockbuster deals later on. Whether it's for a student, music lover, frequent traveler, or gamer, give the gift of noise-canceling wireless headphones. These Sony wireless earbuds are currently $298 at ABT Electronics, Amazon, and Crutchfield. Look for that price to drop at the beginning of the month. Next, a tablet for someone who likes to stream video and play games. This Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 is as low as $547.99 at Walmart. CR says this top-rated model is a great option for those who want an Android tablet with high performance. Over to the kitchen now where an air fryer will delight those who love to cook. The Dash Tasty Crisp Air Fryer is now $59.99 at Amazon. This air fryer comes in at the top of all air fryers in CR's ratings. And if you know someone who goes gaga for high-end kitchen gadgets, a portable ice maker just might do the trick. This GE Opal 2.0 portable ice maker is now $5.79 at Amazon. But is there anything you should wait for until Black Friday? A new TV We've seen year after year that TVs are always at their best possible price during the Black Friday and Cyber Monday weekend. So if you're thinking about buying a new set, wait until then. This 65-inch OLED 4K TV from Samsung is currently $1597.99 at ABT Electronics, Crutchfield, and Walmart, but could go down in price even more during Black Friday sales. Now go take advantage of those holiday deals. This is Shane Hogan. Looking for something else this month? Consumer Reports says there should also be sales on laptops and computers, vacuum cleaners, cookware, coffee makers, smart watches, and smart speakers all month long. You love the air fryer. I was going to get you an air fryer. You already have that. I need a new tablet, but oh, okay. I'm not going to put you on the hook for that. Okay. Well, visitors to the new UW Vet School, when it opens next year, will be greeted by a spectacular piece of art. The artist is a grad from the vet school himself. We'll show you the sculpture and chat with the artist when Live at Four continues. We made these memories for ourselves Where our eyes are never closing our hearts are never broken and time's forever frozen still So you can keep Drum roll, please. It's Champion's Factory Direct Sale. Don't miss these year-end savings. Champion replacement windows are 30% off. That's a great deal. Our windows come direct from our factory to you. No middleman. No markups. Get Factory Direct pricing 30% off. Plus, book your free estimate by Black Friday for an additional $70 off every window. Hurry, this Factory Direct Sale won't last long. Call or schedule online at getchampionwindows.com. My dry eyes made me a burning, stinging five times a day. Makeup smearing, drops user. I want another option. That's not another drop. Tirvaya, it's not another drop. It's the first and only nasal spray for dry eye. Tirvaya treats the signs and symptoms of dry eye disease fast by helping your body produce its own real tears. Common side effects include sneezing, cough, and throat and nose irritation. Relying only on drops? Not me. My own real tears are my relief. Ask your eye doctor about Tirvaya. Don't miss the 34th Annual Winter Art Fair Off the Square, November 11th and 12th at the Monona Terrace Convention Center. Featuring over 100 Wisconsin exhibitors with a wonderful selection of ceramics, paintings, glass art, wood, jewelry, and much more. Place your bids at our silent auction Saturday only. Children will enjoy the Young Collector's Corner. Buy local for the holidays. The Winter Art Fair Off the Square. Put it on your calendar today. At Foster Funeral and Cremation Services, we honor legacies. Let us take care of the arrangement so you can focus on saying goodbye. Veteran-owned and operated. 
Experience exceptional care and affordable service with Foster Funeral and Cremation Services. Hold it! Imagine a world with no drama. I haven't signed Jody's card yet. Ordering promotional products guaranteed to create memorable moments is an easy mission at 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. At Bergstrom Automotive, we were named by Glassdoor as one of the top dealership groups to work for in the country. We pride ourselves in being a fun, great place to work, and where our teammates always look out for each other. Oh, hey, Julia, you wanted Saturdays off to spend with your family, right? Uh, yeah. Can she have that? Yes. You've been told no before? Join the Bergstrom Automotive family for the yes. Bergstrom, for the yes. It's time now for your first warn traffic. There's a pretty big slowdown on the eastbound belt line. Now, reportedly, there is a crash that's blocking uh the shoulder up up near fi the 51, which is causing a pretty uh, big backup kind of all the way back to the 151 where speeds are below 30 miles per hour for quite a while. So likely causing quite a bit of delays, although the westbound belt line is a lot better. Now the interstate's green in both directions near Madison, and that also includes down south towards Janesville up north towards the Dells. We're also looking at the interstate being green in both directions. Now looking at specific times, uh, 25 minutes for the eastbound belt line due to that slowdown green and the westbound and also Sun Prairie to downtown. We are green at this hour. And that's your first warrant traffic. Back to you guys at the couch. Jacob, thank you. Before the Sanford Purdue game, Sanford sent out five foot eight guard Dallas Grazini out for the opening tip against Purdue's big man, Zach Eady, who is 7 4. Edie won the tip easily after Grazini didn't even jump. Purdue <laughs> won the game 98 to 45. Edie had Edie. 16 points, that's though. Right. And Grazini had four. <laughs> okay, okay. So, so there you go. Big man on campus. Well, the brand new state of the art expansion of the UW School of Veterinary Medicine is almost complete. To mark the occasion, a new piece of public art was installed on campus. Veterinarian John Hallett is a UW alum of both undergrad and vet school, and he's also an accomplished artist. He created a bronze sculpture depicting the iconic moments in the journey of a veterinary medical student. It tells a story about the spirit of education, research, and community at the UW School of Veterinary Medicine. So each level depicts a different year of veterinary school. So the first year is on the first level, second year, third year, and fourth year on the top. There are also research activities depicted because the school has a, um, a worldwide research function as well. And um, so, for example, um, Taylor here is a uh, DVM PhD student and doing research in Uganda. Um, with chimpanzees and um, and we've got some other research activities as well as things that that uh, alumni felt were iconic for each year of veterinary school. My art career basically started in high school uh, with three years of art metal at Madison West and one year of sculpture and ceramics and then I've continued um, with art, my art practice throughout veterinary school and I think my art practice informs my veter veterinary practice as well just with eye hand coordination and and um, surgery is is kind of an art. Yeah it is. What was the inspiration for this sculpture? Well really we want to we want to increase the bond that people have with the school so I interviewed students, faculty, staff, and alumni to get ideas about what was iconic about each year of veterinary school and incorporated those ideas into the sculpture. So then I had students model, current students model for the different figures. There are 17 uh, figures of people on the sculpture. And uh, so they're going to come back and know that they had a role um, that they're depicted in the, in the sculpture. And, and many, many people had ideas that, that are implemented in the sculpture so now this is a sculpture made out of what this is bronze so I sculpted in um, started with styrofoam core and then oil clay and and then the lost wax process involves making a silicone mold of every bit of it casting it in wax so we have a wax duplicate of this and then another mold making process where the wax is melted out and the bronze is poured in and then reassembled and welded together. So it's a very long process. And how does it feel to have this being installed today? Oh, this is incredible. I never, I never thought I would have a piece of art here on campus, let alone at the vet school. And to have this being installed today is, 
really, really exciting. Look at the so. details you have. You have a badger, of course. Oh yeah, Bucky's there. Well done. You got it. For sure. Yeah. And and what is, what is this with the animals walking up the ladder? So we've actually got a DNA strand here. Oh wow. Um, made up of uh, different animals that depict the, the base pairs of DNA. I and, love it. Uh, and then there's a uh, a crane that's. Um, splicing the DNA, so that's a reference to CRISPR or, or uh, gene splicing. Um, we've got the tomotherapy unit that uh, Scout uh, was in a Super Bowl commercial. Oh, of and, course, um, right. So Scout's depicted oh, that's in, Scout. front the, in front of the tomotherapy unit there. Um, and my self-portrait is uh, around on the side here. I was r rather known for falling asleep when I sit down, so. <laughs> I was just um, gonna say, you look yeah, exhausted. Yeah. But I mean, vet school is hard. Hard work is hard, yes. and uh, I think that's important to depict. And who's on the top? So we've got four students on the top um, that are uh, being congratulated by the animals. Kind of the theme of this oh. whole piece is people helping animals and animals helping people. And uh, so the horse and the cow are depicted on the open books that'll be in front of it, jumping out of the books to help the students. Um, and then we've got animals congratulating the students uh, and they're wearing medallions signifying their completion of veterinary school and graduation um, on the top, so. Oh, that's um, beautiful. This is incredible. You've thought of everything. Thank you. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. What a it's... gift for the university and, and just for yourself. Absolutely. The move-in process, by the way, in the new Vet Med building will begin later this year. And then the first two floors of the new addition are expected to be open in March. The project also includes a new covered area for large animals that's going to open at the same time. Dr. Hallett and his wife Heidi, who is also a UW-Madison veterinarian, run the Hallett Veterinary Hospital in Oconomowoc. You can learn a lot more about this expansion project at Animals Need Heroes 2. Dot com. And you can see it, it's in the courtyard. There's going to be a big courtyard uh, between the old building and the new building. Well, they needed and, a new building. And that's where it'll be, yeah. yeah pretty but, impressive. And, I mean, you have to take some time and, and yeah. learn about the stories of everything, yeah, it's, but it's the whole four yeah, years. Pretty cool. What a project. Yep. All right, we'll be right back with a final check of your forecast. Stoughton Health has three convenient urgent care locations for the care you need without the wait. We have clinics in Oregon, Stoughton, and McFarland with extended hours to fit your schedule. Stoughton Health, creating excellence together. We've been cooking up this kitchen design for a while. So it's going to be perfect. Okay, that pattern works. Wow, this whole look works. And at a price that really works. I think our work here is done. At Floor & Decor, our helpful associates and free design services add to your experience, not your expenses. And with an unmatched selection of high-quality products, all at everyday low prices, creating the kitchen to match your taste has never been easier. Discover Floor & Decor today. When dry eye symptoms keep coming back, inflammation might be to blame. Over-the-counter eye drops can provide temporary relief. Zydra can provide lasting relief. It targets inflammation that can cause dry Zydra, eye disease. No! Zydra treats the signs and symptoms of dry eye disease. Don't use if allergic to Zydra. Common side effects include eye irritation, discomfort or blurred vision when applied, and unusual taste sensation. Why wait? Ask your doctor about a 90-day prescription and pay as little as zero dollars. Zydra. Ivisia dry eye drops. Made with hydrating polymers, moisturizing hyaluronic acid, and revitalizing trehalose for instant dryness relief that lasts up to eight hours. Ivisia, we see a better way. Stoughton Health has three convenient urgent care locations for the care you need without the wait. We have clinics in Oregon, Stoughton, and McFarland with extended hours to fit your schedule. Stoughton Health, creating excellence together. New at 5, the state's biggest employer is fighting Congress. Thousands of employees are barred from getting raises at the UW. News Free Now finds out firsthand how the budget battle is impacting employees' livelihoods. That's coming up next. I say it's the Disneyland of gas stations. And that's no lie. News Free Now heads to Texas to give you a taste of Bucky's Travel Center and why it's coming north to Badger Country. Moving forward with a new Bucky into Forest, Thursday on News Free Now at 10. 
Here's a final look at your forecast. Rain is expected later tonight into tomorrow morning. The heaviest will occur during the overnight hours, but expect to see some light showers throughout the day tomorrow. High temperatures will be similar for Wednesday and Thursday. They will cool off a bit for Friday and Saturday before rising back up into the 50s. And then for much of next week, we're going to see high temperatures in the middle 50s. Also for much of next week, we are going to be pretty dry. We do have a chance of rain by the time we get to Friday, but after tomorrow, we're going to be dry for about a week with some breezy conditions throughout, but in general, pretty normal temperatures. At Harker Heating and Cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy a furnace. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase a furnace and an air conditioner at the same time. Harker Heating and Cooling. Ask about 40% off lenses with purchase of frame. Wisconsin Vision. See. More. Life. The spring could just break. Precision is there to help. We have fully stocked vehicles to fix any problem you have that same day. And we are all over the Madison area. You're just one phone call away from getting your garage door fixed today. Precision door service, a name you can trust. For 46 years straight, more of you have trusted Ford F-Series trucks to help save the day. Stretch the weekend, haul, or tow just about anything, anywhere. That's because they're built Ford tough. And it's why Ford F-Series are America's best-selling trucks 46 years straight. And for that, we thank you. Now lease a built Ford Tough F-150 STX for $3.99 a month for 36 months. Only at your local Ford dealer. Once retired, Marcus decided, I will never again work for another man or woman. I abandoned my corporate phone plan, and I'll get a new plan with Consumer Cellular for up to half the cost. Let's go, birds. When freedom calls, we're here to answer. Imagine a world with no drama. I haven't signed Jody's card yet. At 4imprint, finding the promotional products you need to create a memorable moment is an easy mission. Our expert team will take care of every detail to make your success a certainty. Take the drama out of ordering promotional products at 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. At Harker Heating and Cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy a furnace. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase a furnace and an air conditioner at the same time. Parker Heating and Cooling. In today's final touch, it's a peek into life in the 1700s. Newly discovered letters offer a look at life from long ago, a peek into the past. These letters looted by the British from a, British, from a French warship in 1758 still sealed an original red wax and ribbon hiding in a box in the UK. National archives are finally opened 265 years later. Written by family members to men serving on the ship, researchers say the letters are about universal human experiences, detailing fears, anxiety, and hope during their time apart. Some love letters to husbands at sea or in this case, a mother complaining her son wrote to his fiancée more than her. Correspondence lost in time, finally found by researchers today. It was like finding a treasure box. A treasure for sure, priceless. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. All right, that's our time for now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here again tomorrow. News 3 Now at 5 starts right now.